Hi there, this is Rose and welcome to another tutorial on yarn crafty. Uh, so I'm excited to show you how to make this hook, this case. I won't call it a hook case. Initially, I made this for myself for my crochet hooks and you know stuff so that when I on, when I'm on a trip, if I travel, I could just put them inside easily. But my boys took over them and uh, what we have in here, we have color pencils. So I guess it's not just for <laughs> um, crochet hooks. So we need in our DK weight yarn. Uh, about 90 meters 85 meters yeah and then uh, we need a uh, white for the trimming on the side okay for this one I use I was just playing around with colors and I used uh, a, um, a, a, a different color here and here it is totally optional okay uh, but if you wanted you could you have to make the first uh, the first four or five rounds with this color but anyways you need DK weight yarn and you need 3.5 millimeter hook you also need um, a thread to join the uh, trimming by the time we're done to join the trimming and the zipper yeah and a 7.5 inch zipper is some um, also good but if you wanted to customize this you would extend the body which I will explain later on in the pattern and that means you need a longer zipper as well all right let's dive in so we're going to start with a magic ring if you do not know how to make a magic ring um, chain four and join into the first chain then you will you will see a space ring in the center all right we're going to start with eight single crochets in our ring three four five six seven eight I'm gonna pull my ring close all right and on round two we're going to make two single crochet stitches into each of the stitches uh, we're not going to join on this round so into the next ring pardon into the next stitch which is the very first one that we made that single crochet number one I'm going to make two single crochets and into the next two single crochets as well so into each of these I'm going to make two single crochets each now you might want to mark out your last stitch on here or your first stitch so that you know where you started and when you are go where you are going to end this will um, really help you if you're not very familiar with um, the stitches okay so at the end of this round two we should have 16 stitches because we started with eight stitches and now we're doing two single crochets into each of the stitches around Two single crochets and in my last stitch I have two single crochets all right there we are now I mean I'm going to join into the first stitch to the first single pardon that was a single crochet we will join with slip stitch all right now chain one and turn so the last stitch here will be our first stitch on the next round round three so in here we will make one single crochet single crochet into the first stitch take note of the slip stitch so you don't walk into it because it could be um, you know deceiving to think it is a stitch all right so single crochet into the first stitch two single crochets into the next stitch single crochet into the next stitch two single crochets into the next stitch so on this round we are, we are repeating uh, single crochet in one stitch two single crochet in the next single crochet in one stitch two single crochet in the next repeat this around the row all right 
At the end of row three, we will have 24 stitches, but I haven't worked the last stitch because right now it looks like there is no more stitch, but there really is because if you turn, you will see that the first stitch here, where we slip stitching to from uh, row two, is still right there. So we need to work into that stitch so you don't miss it. All right, so the last um, two single crochets will be in that last stitch there. So I'm supposed to have 24 stitches on round uh, three. Yep, so we will join into the first stitch, chain one and turn. Okay, now single crochet into the first stitch and into the next stitch. Two single crochets into the next stitch. Single crochet, single crochet, two single crochet into the next stitch. Okay, so this sequence is single crochet in one, single crochet in one, two single crochet in next, single crochet in one, single crochet in one, two single crochet in the next one. So uh, repeat this around the row and uh, meet you up at the end of the row. We should have 32 stitches at the end of the row. All right, we're at the end of round four. Uh, now we're gonna join into the first stitch. But let, assuming you were using a second color to begin, all right, this is where you would, um, this is where you would join with the main color. So this will be your contrast color and then you will join with the main color. So you would join into the first stitch with the main color. But because we're using only one color, we'll just go ahead and join and chain one, turn. Yeah, single crochet into each of the stitches um, across the row. So this time, round I mean, this time we are not uh, increasing any longer. We're only doing single, one, one stitch into one stitch around. So our number will remain uh, the same as we as we as we uh, work the round so we have 32 stitches so at the end of the round we should have 32 stitches end of row 5 now join into the first stitch okay I have one stitch left there Join into the first stitch, chain two, and turn. Round six is double crochet stitches. So we're gonna do double crochet into the first stitch because this chain two doesn't count as a stitch. So double crochet into the first stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, and double crochet into each of the stitches around. We should have 32 double crochet stitches at the end of the round. All right, at the end of the round, join into the first double crochet stitch. Chain one and turn. So I uh, wanted to repeat uh, what we've done on rounds, um, <coughs> rounds five and round six. So we'll chain one turn now and make another round of single crochet. At the end of the round, join to the first stitch and uh, chain two, turn. And we'll make another round of double crochet stitch. So repeat round five and six for round seven and eight. Okay, we're well, heading on to round nine. So at the end of round eight, join to the first uh, double crochet. Chain one and turn. All right, so uh, on this row, we're making, uh, we're still working around. However, we will not be joining at the end of the round. So into the first stitch right here, the first double crochet, make a slip stitch, okay? And uh, single crochet into 30 stitches. So what this means is, you're go we're going to skip the last stitch. The last stitch on this round, we will not do any stitch into it. So single crochet, into each of the stitches around. All right, here we are at the end of round nine. So we have one last stitch left here, which we will skip. 
So essentially we're skipping two stitches on round nine, okay, with this slip stitch here, which doesn't count as a stitch, and this last stitch here. Now chain two and turn. Double crochet into the first stitch. So from here, from here we will be repeating single crochet and double crochet stitches into 30 stitches because we skipped two stitches, the one at the beginning and the one at the end. So we are left with 30 stitches and we're going to do double crochet into 30 stitches. Okay, so what we've done now is to create a space for the zipper by the time we are done with um, crocheting the body. Alright, so chain 1 and turn row um, 11. Okay, row 11 is single crochet, we would chain 1 turn, single crochet into the first stitch and into each stitch around. So we're uh, making single crochet into 30 stitches. And at the end of the row, single crochet into the last stitch here at the end of the row chain two turn and make another round of uh, oh, I keep I keep mixing row and round but I hope you understand what I'm saying trying to say okay so uh, at the end of the round single crochet chain two turn and double crochet around so this is what we're going to be repeating single crochet and double crochet rows until we're up to row 32 Chain to turn and double crochet into the first stitch. This is round uh, 12. Double crochet into each stitch round. All right, at the end of row 12, we're going to chain one turn and repeat uh, round, um, uh, rounds, um, Pardon, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, we're going to repeat rounds 11 and 12 up to round 32. The last round is round 32, and uh, that round is a DC round. So I'll meet you up on round 32, and then we will close up, extend the second part of the case, and um, close it up. Now we're heading to row um, 33. So chain one and uh, make single crochet stitches. Chain one, turn and single crochet into each of the stitches around. At the end of the row, chain two. Okay, try not to twist it. Chain two and join to the first stitch. Okay, uh, at this point, after we join chain two, chain two again and um, turn. This row is double crochet row. So into the first um, chain, we'll make a double crochet. Into the second uh, chain, we'll make another double crochet. Now we're going to make double crochet stitches into the rest of the stitches around. So at the end of the row we're going to join into the first double crochet. So that means now we'll have, we have um, 32 stitches. Now no longer 30 because we've closed it up. Chain one turn and make uh, another round of single crochet stitches. At the end of the row, join to the first stitch, chain two, we're going to make another round of uh, double crochet stitches. So double crochet into the first stitch, okay, yeah, uh, when you're done with that, chain two, turn and make another round of double crochet stitches. 
join to the first stitch chain one and uh, make another um, round of single crochet stitches at the end of the row join this is row 37 so at the end of row 37 join to the first stitch <coughs> Chain one turn. If you were using two colors, this is the point where you would change to the second color. Assuming you started with um, a different color on this other side. So chain one turn row 38. From this row, we're going to be decreasing a single crochet into the first stitch, single crochet into the next stitch, and single crochet decrease, single crochet two together in one, and then the next go in and do another one. You have three loops on your hook and we will pull through all three loops so we've done our first decrease single crochet in two stitches one and two now uh, decrease single crochet decrease in two stitches go in pull out a loop go into the next um, stitch and pull out a loop and that's it so uh, repeat this around the row single crochet each in two stitches and then decrease single crochet decrease into the next uh, in the next two stitches all right at the end of row 38 chain one and uh, turn so here we're going to do um, single crochet into one stitch and single crochet decrease in the next two stitches single crochet into one stitch and single crochet decrease through the next two stitches so we'll repeat this for row 30 39 so single crochet and decrease the next two stitches repeat this around the row all right at the end of row 39 join to the first stitch chain one and turn row 40 will all be single crochet decreases around and uh, we're doing that eight times so from the first stitch go in there and go into the next stitch and do a decrease so that's one go into the next one and in the next one and do a decrease okay so repeat this around three four five <coughs> excuse me six Seven and uh, eight. All right. Now I'm going to join into the first stitch. Chain one. Do not turn. Do not turn on this on this part. And we're going to do eight single crochet stitches into each stitch round. So single on row forty one. Round forty one single crochet in the first stitch, single crochet into the next stitch and into each stitch around. So this is three single crochet stitches. Four. Five. Six, seven, and eight. All right, and join to the first stitch. Join to the first single crochet stitch on there. No, it's a bit tricky because it's tight, but uh, yeah, it's doable. 
Okay, now we'll snip, it, snip the yarn and weave in uh, the tails. And we're going to do the, the trim. I'm going to weave in the tails from inside. Because the, the right side of this uh, case is the right side of the double crochet stitches. Okay, so once we're done with that, we want to make the trim. The trim that will go on the side here. So let's say you wanted to customize the case, you want it to be shorter. We before we at the point of joining was on round uh, 33, right? The single crochet row. So what you might want to do if you reduce it, make sure that the point of joining is an odd numbered row. So the row could be your last DC row could be a row 28 or a row 26. Then the where you joined from which is here, we joined from around 33, the single crochet round. When you join, that round should be an odd number. So it could be round 27, it could be round 25, okay? So that's uh, all up to you if you wanted this to be shorter. If you wanted it to be longer, it follows the same um, process. And uh, after you join, you um, continue to make the remaining parts. It follows the same uh, sequence and close it up. Also, we want to make the trimming. For this one, we start with a chain of 32, an uh, even number row. So if you made a shorter one, you want to start with a shorter number. But make sure that the number of uh, chains you start with is an even number uh, count. So it could be 18, it could be 22, it could be 28. All right. And uh, once we do that, you want to place it over here. And you want to make sure that it's actually the same length after uh, row one. So I will show you that once we uh, make row one. Okay, so I'm going to start with a chain of 32. Skip the first chain and single crochet into the next chain and each chain across. So I'm going to be doing the single crochets underneath here because well, just want it to look really neat by the time we sew it on here. We want to have these edges, nice edges out here. So um, single crochet into each of the chains across. So we're going to have uh, 31 chains. So this is what I meant when I was saying you need to uh, be sure that the length is, um, it carries across this part where the zipper will be. Um, so you take note of that if you were customizing the case. All right, we're heading on to uh, row two for the trimming chain one and turn. Into the first stitch, make a single crochet. Chain one doesn't count as a stitch, so single crochet into the first stitch, chain three. Skip the next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch chain three skip the next stitch single crochet into the next stitch uh, you're going to repeat this uh, across the row chain three skip one stitch single crochet into the next stitch row three got in the row two chain one turn and single crochet into the chain three space chain three, slip stitch into the first chain and slip stitch into the chain three space, same chain three space where we made our first single crochet. All right, into the next chain three, single crochet, pardon, after that chain one after the slip stitch chain one and single crochet into the next uh, chain three space chain one two three slip stitch into the third the first chain of that um, chain three and slip stitch again into the chain three space same chain three space chain one do it again single crochet into the chain three space chain three slip stitch into the first chain 
slip stitch into the chain 3 space chain 1 okay we're going to repeat this across uh, the row so after the last uh, chain 3 and uh, picots I mean slip stitches we'll slip stitch into the last stitch at the side there okay and uh, we will slip the yarn and we will join it simultaneously as we join the zipper so uh, we'll make, we need two of this we need two of this so the one on the side and one on the other side okay so make another one of this trimming make another one and then we will join it together with the zipper all right now it's time for us to uh, join I mean to sew the trimming alongside the zipper so I have uh, marked this place with um, needles just to help to guide and know these are uh, the needles so just to uh, just to help to guide with uh, the sewing okay I'm using a sewing thread which I have doubled up to make it thicker Alright, this is uh, very long, <laughs> about 15 inches or so, So, because uh, I want it to be enough for this side and the other side. I don't want to have to add, uh, keep adding, I mean to join another thread to sew. Okay, so we're going to start, just try to align it properly. Now this uh, zipper is, is longer for the space than you know intended. So. It would be a bit of a challenge for me. However, when you're using a zipper, use um, the right, the right um, zipper length for yours. Okay, so I'm going to start from here. I'm going to hold these together. I'm going to hold the trimming, the body of the the case and the zipper simultaneously. I'm going to be sewing them all together. Oopsie, I forgot to close up this part. Okay. I'm going to take my time while doing this, no rushing. Uh, I'm going to go back in there. Be mindful of the zipper here, the middle, so that you don't see it closed. And now once you get that first part, just uh, start to go in through each stitch and back into the, the zipper. in through the stitch, through the case and the zipper
Okay, I'm on the last part here. And I'm going to um, transfer to the second part. Like I, like I said, you need to be patient when you do this. Um, you know, take your time to do it. There's no need to rush. Forgot. Okay, so now I'm going to join the second one. I'm going to start. to each stitch and uh, here we are at the end of the sewing the sewing might not be perfect but uh just try even i my sewing isn't perfect either and it's not a particularly <laughs> enjoyable uh thing to do for at least sewing on crochet sewing zippers is not something that i enjoy doing but uh, sometimes it is needed depending on what you are making okay so sew it all up Pass it back in. Weave the tail inside. So I'm going to weave the tail into uh, into the stitch rows. I'm going to go back. Okay, I'm satisfied with that and now we snip the yarn, the thread I mean. And uh, here we go. And when you're done, that's it. It's pretty right <laughs> and you can make so many of them in so many different beautiful and lovely colors and uh, you know just have fun while you make this pattern uh, thank you so much once again for joining me on this tutorial and uh, when you make one uh, tag hashtag yarn crafty on uh, Instagram or Facebook don't be shy you can also join our Facebook group private pri private Facebook uh, group to share your projects and don't forget that there is a written pattern of this which you can check on the blog it's a free pattern you can also purchase a printable version uh, to support yarn crafty thank you so much once again God bless you bye